Welcome to Dev Tips. My name is Travis. Let's get started. The video you're watching right now is a companion video. I made another one in which I coded up a responsive email from scratch and walked you through everything that's involved in that. So what I want to do right now is instead of do the code right in front of you, I want to talk to you about some of the larger principles and ideas that are involved in such a thing. If you haven't seen that first video already, it's okay. There's a link to it in the description below. You can watch them in any direction. It doesn't matter. They're not continuous. It does not matter how messy your directory is. An email is not a website, so other people are not going to be jumping in and out of it over a long period of time. It's just a temporary thing that you code up and send out. So I don't use any subdirectories. I, everything is in the root, and it's just really easy to work in and get messy. Another thing to keep in mind when you're creating responsive layouts for emails is that you don't need to be fooled into thinking you need to use tables. They're an outdated concept when it comes to responsive emails, uh, and they're only useful if you want to create multi-column emails, which them in and of themselves are not a great idea. Keep in mind that your head and body tags, and likely your style tags, will be stripped by the email client. Now this makes style tags a nice to have and you can use them, but you can't rely on them. You should make, the, make sure that your email will work fine without them. The same principle applies to media queries. Since media queries cannot fit in line, at least not that I know of, you can't rely on them for responsive emails. A really good mobile first responsive approach is to have a flexible layout and a single column to begin with. All of your styles need to be in line, but that does not mean that you need to write them that way. Now after you create your styles, use MailChimp CSS inliner to move all those styles to be in those inline attributes. Email designers and senders need to understand that a large majority of the emails that they send will be opened up on mobile devices. Now, I've described how I design for one flexible width column, but this also means keeping your content mobile first. That means one clear message, one clean call to action. Now, for one last thing, remember to always jump on your hotel beds and never eat any of that snack food that they leave on the counter. If you haven't yet, go check out that other video where I code up the email from scratch. It's about a half an hour long, but you may find it really interesting. If you have watched that video already, let me know what you think of it in the comments below because I'm still a little, uh, how do you say, self-conscious about that kind of video where I code right in front of everybody. I feel like I'm not doing a great job. But anyway, I'd like your feedback on this style of it. If you found these or any other videos helpful, please share them and be excellent to each other. We'll see you next week. Welcome to Dev Tips. Buckle up. Welcome to Dev Tips. Let's get started. Hey, welcome to Dev Tips. Let's do this. Hey, welcome to Dev Tips. Let's get started. Good morning. I'm Travis. You're watching Dev Tips. Good morning. I'm Travis, and you're watching Dev Tips. Good morning. I'm Travis. This is Dev Tips. Welcome to Dev Tips, everybody. This is Travis. Or I am Travis, and this is. A we already said that. This is Dev Tips. Good morning, everybody. This is Dev Tips. I'm Travis. This is a channel where we talk about website Cody stuff and how to make the internet. Hello, everybody. My name is Travis. Welcome to Dev Tips. This is a place where we like to make the internet. Good morning, everybody. My name is Travis. Welcome to Dev Tips. This is a place where people who like to make the internet come and hang out and talk about nerdy type stuff.